Okay, we're doing up the Minix X8H Plus. So you're going to go to the website that I talked about at the Minix forum and you're going to download the you'll download the file. Okay, once you have the file, once you have the file, you you know where it is on your computer, then you're going to have the USB burning tool. Okay, so you open that up. I've already got it open down here. So open this up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to locate the file. And I know where it is. So I need two hands for this. So it's in here. Click there. Go down and find the RC2. Double click on that. Wait for it to load. Then I'll show you how to sync your box up. You have this cord here. Okay, this micro to USB. And you also need your power button or your power cord. And you need a pin. I use a, I use a thumbtack. Okay. So plug in your micro from your computer to your box and plug in your power. Okay, so the file's loaded. We have the power cord in the X8H Plus. We have the micro to the device. Beside the HDMI, there's a recovery hole that I'm going to put a needle into. So I use a thumbtack. Okay. So you have to have the thumbtack pushed and then hold the power button down for a second. And then you'll notice on your screen a connection. It's kind of hard to do with two hands but I'm gonna hold this button down then I'm gonna push the power button while I'm holding the pin down make sense hold the power button down for a few seconds let it go you'll see a connection now I have connect success I haven't changed any of these settings I leave them the same then I come up and I click start it takes up to six minutes now we're putting on the new firmware the biggest thing is getting your connection. Once you got the connection, then you load your your file and away you go.